Okay guys, what the heck? I just did a live and it just disappeared. I don't know where it went. Anyways, I'm gonna try it again. Great. So, we just got out of a full moon. The full moon was intense. I don't know about you guys, but I was feeling it. I was feeling all the things, all the emotions, and I was being pulled over here and pulled over there. I had to deal with some stuff and release some things, you know. And, um, but I learned some powerful lessons and I saw some owls and that was powerful. And I'm here now, back centered, focused, and ready to share what I have learned is the most transformational um, for manifesting, right? I've been studying up the wazoo, the manifesting techniques for the past five, six years since I first originally learned about the law of attraction and <clears throat> the secret and all those things. Now, I've read, well, I've listened to just about all of Richard Dot's books on manifesting and they are some of the best books I've ever read on manifesting. I highly recommend it if you're interested. Um, I recently was listening to the uh, Thoughtless Manifestation book and now this is the key. This is the key to manifesting your desires and attracting what you really want in your life. This is the missing piece because so many of us try all the things. We try the affirmations, the visualization, the writing every day 55 times or reading every single morning and some of us are just feeling blocked still or it's just not happening. And the reason that is is because of our thoughts. Our thoughts will block us and won't allow us to get past that hurdle. Why? Because we'll get stuck back into the old way of thinking. Our, it's just a pattern, programs running in our brain like, oh, maybe I don't deserve it. And that psh, blocks it immediately. So if you're having any repetitive negative thoughts, you need to try this method because what we need to do is just clear, get out, get rid of all thoughts get rid of all thinking we don't need to think you don't need to think unless you're in the process of creating something or you're in the process of communicating with somebody where you gotta lose use some intellectual thought however what we need to do is return to the feeling and I believe that is what the Buddha did and many other great healers and uh, teachers did was just going into the feeling within them now you might say, well, oh, I feel this way. I'm feeling, uh, you know, sad today or depressed or lonely. Okay, what you're doing when you're stating that feeling is you're affirming that that's how you feel. That's your reality because you have affirmed it to be true. Now, actually, you're just having a thought about that feeling and you're declaring it as truth. But you can alter that. You don't have to remain in that. You can say, well, I was feeling that way. But now I'm feeling happy, joyful, elated, right? Create an intention. How do you want to feel? What do you want to ma manifest in your life? Oh, I want, I want to manifest $5,000 today. Okay, so you want to manifest $5,000. Why? Well, because it would make me feel this way. Okay, it would make me feel ecstatic. It would make me feel happy. It would make me feel joyful. So then you go into that feeling space. Well, how does it feel to feel Joyful, okay? You create that feeling within yourself. I feel joyful. And then imagine that feeling coming up. Your brain doesn't know the difference. You can create every single feeling within yourself. You have access to do that. You have the power to do that. So cre you create that feeling and then you stop focusing on the words, the description about it, and you simply be in the feeling state. And you wanna do that as long as possible, at least 15 seconds. I recommend doing it all day long. Every time you have thoughts come up, remember to turn, return to your feeling state and stop believing your thoughts. Stop buying into your thoughts. They are being sold to you and you're buying them, but you're going to stop today. You're going to say, no, that's not true. It's not true because I don't believe it and I'm not going to continue to buy into that thought. I'm going to feel this way. Even though so-and-so did this and that, I'm not going to allow them to pull me from my center and I'm not going to allow them to control how I feel. Only I have the power to control how I feel and I choose to feel in a state of peace or in a state of bliss about the situation. Whatever, you know, whatever it may be and you just focus on the feeling. Stop thinking about it. Stop describing about it. 
of course you're human this is a new practice this is something we weren't taught as little kids unfortunately but we better start teaching our kids this because this is how we're going to evolve humanity by returning to that feeling state so just make a practice out of it if you start your day with doing this it will be powerful you will have powerful results i started my day yesterday with like feeling yummy and delicious on the inside and just letting me be in that feeling and then I manifested delish, delicious moments all day long and it's very 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 powerful it does work and you just have to do it and you just have to practice awareness practice becoming aware of how you're feeling if you don't like the feeling then choose to alter the feeling but you have to take the time to sit with it and it takes practice you got to build the muscle uh, just like the muscles in your body, you gotta go and use them to build them. You gotta use this muscle to build it as well. So every day, make uh, make it a point to set an intention at the beginning of your day to feel good or to feel ecstatic or alive, whatever you're feeling you want to create for that day, and then go in yourself and feel it, and do that as much as possible. It's really simple. It's a really simple technique. Uh, and it does bring the results that you're looking for. Just gotta do it, so. Okay, I believe this is a lot shorter than the other one I made, but hey, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you came in late, please start from the beginning uh, because I'm sharing a really awesome technique. We're gonna use this feeling technique. I'm gonna call it feel to heal. Um, we're gonna feel to heal our way to happiness, joy, love, light, and success. Ooh, you got this guys I love you um, if you would like any more coaching or assistance on this I also offer Oracle readings and one-on-one -on -one coaching check out my website lunarasta.com I am super happy to be of service to you in any way I can so feel free to reach out with any questions as well and um, yeah that's it happy Sunday and enjoy we just got out of that moon and we just got out of that uh, 9-9 portal. So let's move into happiness, joy, and abundance. You got this.